CDH stands for congenital diaphragmatic hernia that affects one is to three to four thousand babies. Uh, this condition develops early on in pregnancy when the diaphragm muscle is forming, usually around eight to ten weeks of uh, gestation. Herniation of abdominal organs into the chest cavity uh, significantly impacts normal lung growth and development. That results in babies uh, having severe life-threatening respiratory failure and pulmonary hypertension after birth. Infants with congenital diaphragmatic hernia require surgical correction after they're born. Uh, due to the cardiorespiratory instability and uh, sometimes significant respiratory failure, they need a period of stabilization by conventional methods and sometimes utilizing extracorporeal membrane oxygenation support. Repair sometimes involves prim uh, primary closure of the defect after the abdominal organs are replaced back into the abdomen or by placing a patch if the defect is very large. In 2013, we published a study from Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC that looked at uh, disease severity scores of infants with congenital diaphragmatic hernia and its correlation to ECMO need. This study helped us identify infants with the most severe form of this condition uh, and uh, with uh, more significant uh, underlying pulmonary hyperplasia. Collaborating with our colleagues from Department of Radiology, Pediatric Surgery, Cardiology, Maternal Fetal Medicine and Genetics has allowed us to have a much better understanding of the disease process and lung underdevelopment even before the babies are born. Uh, this helps us in uh, directing our postnatal care for the babies after birth as well as to counsel families about the implications of uh, disease severity. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a developmental condition that in severe cases is associated with uh, significant mortality, uh, but patients who have uh, less severe pulmonary hypoplasia go on to have excellent outcomes.